We want to look at those challenges tonight with an expert. He's Parag Khanna, Senior Research Fellow at the nonpartisan New America Foundation and the author of the book, The Second World, How Emerging Powers Are Redefining Global Competition in the 21st Century. Welcome. Thank you. We know that President Obama wants to send this troop surge, about 30,000 troops, into Afghanistan. You're concerned, though, it could destabilize a neighbor. That's right. I mean, first of all, the surge is already underway, and troops are being redeployed and increased in deployments in the south and east of the country and around Kabul to protect uh, for the elections and, of course, to combat the Taliban. Of course, much of the Taliban is located in the south, and so if that surge fighting with the Taliban pushes them over the border into Pakistan, you could see increased instability there. The Pakistani military's ability to stem that tide of Taliban fighters or to contain Taliban's, Taliban's spread within Pakistan has been limited, if not actually worrying. So I fear that without a strategy on both sides of the border, uh, as I say, squeezing the balloon on one side just inflates it in the other. You get that, yeah, that very graphic image there. Um, let's talk about Richard Holbrook. When do you expect he'll travel to the region? And, and more important, how will he be received? Next week, actually, is when I believe he's anticipated to go to Afghanistan and Pakistan and multiple cities uh, within them in order to uh, sort of on a fact-finding mission. How he'll be received is already a uh, su subject of debate in both countries because they know, of course, that he's coming, just as, uh, for example, um, uh, the special envoy to the Middle East is already sort of underway. So, so the U.S., the State Department, is moving very fast. Afghanistan, Hamid Karzai, the president, is obviously a bit worried about being monitored and watched. The Obama administration is a bit more skeptical about his presidency than George Bush was, so he naturally is a bit antsy. And in Pakistan, they don't necessarily like having more eyes monitoring and watching what they do. They're used to having a bit longer leash when it comes to U.S. military and other kinds of aid and what they do with it. Holbrook, of course, is going to be watching them extremely closely. So a bit of suspicion, you think, is what they're going to feel. No doubt. You mentioned uh, President Karzai. Uh, he's coming up for re-election. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are already indications the Obama administration is not real happy about him. And then today we learned that the national election is going to be delayed. Um, do you think there's politics working here, forcing that delay? I have no doubt that politics are involved in the delay. They want the troop surge to work. They want it to take effect. They want to have a stable and secure election, as they have had in the past. There have already been two national elections before in Afghanistan. And of course, they need to decide what their strategy is towards Karzai himself. Uh, do they want to keep him? Do they want to support an alternate candidate? Do they want to change the very structure of the country's governance from a presidential system to a more diffuse parliamentary one where the parliament is like a grand jirga of some kind? So there are a lot of questions that need to be answered, and no doubt the State Department needs more time to decide what its position is. Parag Khanna, thank you very much. A pleasure speaking with you. Thank you.